All right, let's talk about the definition of female behavior, <clears throat> right? Let's talk about the biggest diva move a man could possibly make on YouTube. But, you know, let, let's back up. Before we get to that, the reason I've never brought up Thunderdome Boxing is because I'm not a female. I don't participate in online diva drama. Or drama. You know, especially when someone is like 2,000 miles away hiding behind a camera, right? If I have a problem with someone, I typically talk to them face-to-face, man-to-man, or at a bare minimum over the phone, right? So, uh, um, yeah, so I mean, this guy's left me with no choice. There's absolutely no choice. And I don't want to do this. This is uncomfortable for me. I don't want to do this shit. But I mean, this little scrawny, you know, wannabe Ben Affleck, Kermit the Frog sounding motherfucker needs to keep my name out of his mouth and I don't know, put a couple of sandwiches in it. I mean, seriously, bro, you're not looking too good these days. So, and, you know, and he claims, oh, oh making these comments, how I'm a female, I'm a diva, and I don't show my face, and, and we'll get to it. Well, like I said, be patient. I'm going to tell you the entire history between myself and uh, th- this fraud, right? And, and I'm not even going to say his name. It's irrelevant. He's completely irrelevant. I mean, this little toothpick wearing hoodies, sunglasses on YouTube, making 19-hour videos about Gennady Golovkin. I seriously think this dude has a man crush on Gennady Golovkin. No joke. I mean, no joke. So, yes, I've shown nothing but respect for this dude. Never talked bad about him or his channel or any 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 kind of I've just never talked about him in a negative light ever okay Next thing I know, I get a notification with a video link attached to where you have old Thunderdome boxing like running his mouth about me. He basically said, you know, oh, you're a female. I told a bunch of lies and blah. Okay, so like I said, we'll get to it. We're going to break it down. We're going to because, you know, facts matter. And by the way, I can prove. So here, here's something I want to point out. Anything I tell you today, I can prove 100% with screenshots, text messages. Facebook messages, emails, phone calls, you name it, I can prove everything. So I'm not just talking shit like this dude does. So, but, uh, you know, he, like he said, he said, I blocked him and left his boxing group because I didn't get a thank you. The dude said that he didn't thank me enough, or I said, you don't, you don't, you don't give me enough gratitude. You don't tell me thank you enough. So like a female, I'm going to I'm going to block you and leave your boxing group. That is the biggest crock of shit. Okay. Now, let me back up a little bit. Yes, I was the admin for his boxing group. Yes, I blocked him and yes, I left the group. But that is a it's a complete lie. Okay? And like I said, we'll get to the real story. And he claims I never show my face on YouTube, although this is my second YouTube channel. The first one was nothing but my face. The beginning of this channel is nothing but my face, right? And uh, the reason I don't show my face on YouTube is because I have better shit to do than sit at home in mommy's basement editing videos and cramming my face into a camera. It's just more convenient for me to make audio videos and I'm covering fights. By the way, how many fights has Anthony covered, right? Because I've covered plenty. I mean, I just covered the Charlo fight, just had an interview with Freddie Roach, uh, just had a one-on-one interview with Polly Malinaji after the bare knuckle boxing. I mean, you know, you guys know my creds, they go on and on and on and on and on. I don't just sit behind a camera talking shit, okay? I mean, and that's what this guy does. So anyway, let's get to the truth. And trust me, I'm going to bring up the fact that other people have called this dude out because he's a con artist wearing sunglasses on YouTube, you know, (laughs) claiming he has a migraine headache. When we all know, we all know you're reading shit from the screen, bro. Just, you you know, you don't need, come on, man, just come on. It's it's like everybody's not stupid, right? Dude's wearing sunglasses, oh, I got a migraine headache, bullshit, dude. You're reading from the fucking screen and we all know it. In fact, You can look it up on YouTube. Other boxing channels have called this guy out, you know, and proved that he's a fraud, basically. So look it up. Just look it up and you'll see. So, and like I said, I could bring countless people on my YouTube channel. This guy has either screwed over or been a dick to in one way or the other. Uh, In fact, one of them I just talked to refers to him as a grimy motherfucker. Okay, so after he screwed this person over... Um, and I'm not going to get into their situation because I told them that I wouldn't, but, uh, you know, yeah. So anyway, years back, I get a notification from Thunderdome requesting that I be an admin for his boxing group. Okay. And, um, 
and I accepted, you know, so, you know, I basically ran his boxing group for like two damn years, right? You know, constantly, you know, uh, plugging and promoting his YouTube channel, bending over backwards to help this dude in, in every way, shape or form. And the end result of all of this was, was uh, you know, we're going to start a little business together, right? We're going to start a, uh, a dot com, me and, me and this uh, Thunderdome, right? We're going to start up a website. I actually paid like $350 uh, for Bluehost, this company, to host our website. And um, now we're going to be business partners because now keep in mind, I've ran his boxing channel, his, his, uh, YouTube, or his fucking uh, Facebook channel or Facebook group. You know, I funneled all these people to his YouTube channel. Uh, we talk for literally two and three hours every damn night, which, by the way, I can show screenshots and prove what I'm telling you. I still have my old phone, my old iPhone that we talked on. And, uh, you know, just did everything I could to help this guy. And uh, But the problem was he didn't lift a damn finger, okay? I did all the work. I was creating the website, you know, doing all the research, making the phone calls, running his boxing group, you know, constantly, you know, shouting out his YouTube channel, just doing anything and everything I could to help this guy. And, uh, and in the end, he wants to call me a female and, uh, you know, act like, you know, I'm just some diva. So, you know, now, now think about it for a minute. If you're running my Facebook group, right, if you're promoting my YouTube channel, if you're building a website, you know, spending your own hard-earned money and I just ignore you, okay, I mean, the dude would disappear for months on end. I mean, it'd be like a month, two months, I didn't hear it. Like, dude, are you like on drugs? You in and out of jail? Like, what's up, bro? Like, where the fuck you been? Like, you know, it would be like that. And I'm over here like running his shit for nothing, for nothing. I mean, I'm talking, and he says, oh, all he did was add people to my group. <laughs> okay, buddy, all right. Yeah, I was the number one contributor to his group. I was uh, constantly in there, you know, talking to people, engaging with people, debating. Like, man, I used to do these like little raffles, like fighter of the week. In fact, I just got a memory on Facebook from Thunderdome Boxing where I did like this raffle. I was and then I wanted to give away a trophy for like, you know, boxing knowledge. I mean, I was so engaged in that group. I did so much to help this dude. And he wants to act like all I did was hit approve, 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 approve. It's such fucking bullshit. Such bullshit. I mean, it was like a part-time job promoting Thunderdome boxing. I mean, seriously. So, you know, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, like I said, it's just, it's just a bunch of bullshit. And by the way, I want to mention something, dude. Nobody wants to hear a fucking three-hour boxing video. Like, seriously, the average viewership on YouTube, like, go look at your analytics. The average viewership is, like, seven minutes, like, maybe four minutes. Like, I mean, I, it's crazy to me. This guy's out here making two and three. I mean, there was, like, a six-hour video one time. I think there was, like, a nine-hour video. I mean, dude, if I want to see a movie, if I wait all year to watch a movie... I'm not going to watch it if it's over two hours long. I'm damn sure not going to watch some guy on YouTube talk about boxing for two or three hours. It's crazy. So, but yeah, let me back up a little bit. Like I said, bent over backwards to help this guy. Ran his group, you know, spending money out of my own pocket, you know, three, four hours a day, okay? And then we ha I'd even, I even brought in other admins to help me. So I, like, got this group of people, which I'm not going to say their names, but if I need to, I will in a future video. I mean, you know, if, if the dude wants to reply to me, like I said, next time I'll come with some facts and evidence and proof, okay? Actual proof of what I'm telling you. But, you know, I had a group of people promoting and building up Thunderdome Boxing, and the guy would ignore me. I'd call him, he wouldn't answer, uh, he wouldn't participate in his own group, um, you know, he would just, and the only thing he would do is like throw out a YouTube video to make money, that was it, because all he cared about was the money, he's your typical con artist on YouTube, leeching, that is correct, leeching off boxing, that's exactly what the guy is doing, and how does he stay relevant? He tries to stay relevant by attacking other people like myself. Uh, he's attack I've heard him attack like Michael Montero. I've heard him attack so many different channels. I mean, I don't mean to throw out names, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'll take that back. But he attacks a lot of different people to make himself relevant, and it's pathetic. You know, it's absolutely pathetic. Like I said, I've not said one negative thing about this dude in years. Nothing, nothing at all. And truth be told. 
I feel kind of sorry for the dude. I really do. I mean, seriously, like that, like that's what you do with your life. Like you sit on YouTube at two and three in the morning talking shit about people. Like that's where you're at in your life. Like, you know, so truth is I feel bad for the dude, but I mean, I had, I had to respond. I had to set the record straight because it's, it's a complete lie, you know, and, and you can't look, there's consequences. You can't get on YouTube and tell lies about people and not expect someone to reply because I'm not that dude. I'm, you're not going to talk shit about me and I'm just going to sit there and say nothing okay it's not going to happen you know like I said bent over backwards to help this guy did everything in my power and I did it for like over a year I mean it was like a full-time job and this guy just completely shit on me you know completely shit on me and then the cherry on the cake he called and he says he had nothing to do with me after the uh, after I left the group again I can show you screenshot we just talked like uh, December 2018, we just talked like a year and a half ago. The guy is so full of shit. Completely full of shit. We were talking on his YouTube channel like um, about a year ago, I guess. You know, a year and a half ago, something like that. Uh, about Gennady Golovkin. We were talking about the belts. Like, you know, which belt or, or what belt Gennady Golovkin won from who. You know, the, the dude's just, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's on drugs or what. But, you know, he says that I left the group and he had nothing to do with me. Blah, blah. It's complete bullshit. So... You know, like I said, I didn't want to do this. I really didn't. But uh, the guy's a fraud. He's a con artist. And truth be told, I feel sorry for him.